In this movie, I'd like to show you some additional techniques for creating montages and how to create some effects simply by cutting rather than just dropping pre-made effects onto your cuts. Now, I've set this sequence up. I've dropped in some shots I've selected and created some rough montages, and I'd like to play through it so that we're all on the same page before we begin making changes. But if you look down here in the timeline, there's some places where I've got some gaps or some additional shots I'm trying out. That's about where you should be at this point. You're not refining your trim yet. You're just placing shots. All right, here I go. I'm playing through. You work hard and play harder. Water can't give you back what you lose. H Plus has what you need. Natural electrolytes from plants, not chemicals. H Plus isn't made in a lab. Too much sugar dehydrates you and robs your energy when you need it most. H Plus only has five grams. Everything you need, nothing you don't. H Plus, natural rehydration. Now I'll walk you through some of the choices I've made, and we'll make some changes together. From the beginning, you watched me create the montage that leads up to our first hero shot, the soccer player. Beyond that, I've used the series that we created, the shot series of four, here. As what you need. Natural electrolytes from plants, not chemicals. So there's a shot series of four here that you haven't seen yet. And I'd like to talk about what I've done here. I've used a technique called double cutting. And what that means is I've repeated the shots. I've actually played through and rather than syncing them perfectly, I've backed up and repeated actions. Here, watch. This is called touch and go. He's training. And as I play, you'll see that his hand almost reaches the ground. And then when we cut to the next shot. Plants. It's repeating the action. His hand hasn't touched the ground yet. I'm repeating that same action here. And here, his foot is on the ground, rolls, and he's touching again. That's called double cutting. It allows me to expand the motion, and it creates timing changes without me actually having to drag drop effects onto the cut. So it's done just by cutting. I'm using different camera angles but I'm repeating the same action from all three camera angles. Watch. Electrolytes from plants, not chemicals. See what I mean? Now, in this last shot here, I've actually synced the cut in the final shot. So I allow him to touch and then go. H plus isn't... Now, I've done the same double cutting technique here with the track runner, and this has the effect of expanding time. Now, in a lot of types of editing, you're contracting time. In a narrative story, for example, things happen over hours, and you're trying to tell what happened in a matter of seconds. In this case, we have action that's happening in seconds, and I need to stretch it out a little so that you've got a feeling of what's going on. So watch the track here. Made in a lab. Too much sugar dehydrates you and robs your energy when you need it most. And let me show you where I've double cut. So here, I've got the track runner. Plus isn't made in a lab. And you can see that well, I've repeated his steps. And as he's flying through the air here, I cut to the next shot under the wipe, and he's still flying through the air. I've used the different camera angle, that's the hero shot, but I've backed up a bit so that he's flying for longer. It makes it look like his jump is really long. And then as we come through here, notice that he touches the ground with his feet here, but in the next shot, I back up, new camera angle, but I've repeated the action. He flies for longer, touches the ground again. Now, here, he's touched the ground and is almost falling forward, and I actually sink the cut at this point. Watch. A lab. Too much sugar dehydrates you and robs your energy when you need it most. Double cutting the action. All right, now, let's fill in this gap here. I want to show you something you can do. Rather than having to time remap a clip, you can actually repeat it and then offset it a tiny bit, and it almost creates the same look instead of rewinding and playing forward again with an effect that takes some time to create. I'm simply going to select this shot. It's this one here where he's about to throw the football. I'll option click and drag a copy of it right next to itself. So the action repeats. And instead of having to go in with time remapping and rewind and back up and play forward again, it just repeats the shot. 
H plus. But I can offset it a bit with a slip. So I'll press Y for slip, and then I can offset where it begins and ends. I can just back up a little bit, and so it double cuts the action. Most. H plus only. See, and creates a stutter effect without having to actually drop an effect on there. Now, the last thing I'd like to do is create a butterfly or flutter cut. And I'll show you how I do that. I need to unlock that track. What I've done here is I've got a shot of one of the athletes training and he's running up the stairs. Everything you need. Now, I've got a shot of his close up placed right on top of that track. But you can't see through it at this point. Nothing it's just a solid clip. What I'm going to do here is sync up the two feet. He's stepping down onto his right foot. He's stepping down onto his right foot in the close-up shot. And then as the music changes or hits a beat, I'll grab the razor blade with the C key. And when I hear a music beat change, I'm just going to make a cut. There's one. And I'll play forward until I hear another beat. Hear it? There it is. There's another one. Nothing. Okay, and then I'll go back to the selection tool with V, and I'll simply delete some of these shots, right? So I can actually choose where I want. That's the one that matches. Okay, so, and then I can play with this. But this will create a fluttering between the two camera angles. All right, so. Everything you need, nothing you don't. Now, I may decide to shorten that whole set, but that's how I could create some stutter effects or flutter cut this and not actually have to go in and time remap. So there's some really great effects work you can do with timing of the shots. These are some options you can use when you're cutting any kind of montage that allow you to create an effects look that's really cool and it doesn't require any additional effects packages. You can do this in any editing application. Let's play through the entire thing and watch the changes I just made. You work hard and play harder. Water can't give you back what you lose. H plus has what you need. Natural electrolytes from plants, not chemicals. H plus isn't made in a lab. Too much sugar dehydrates you and robs your energy when you need it most. H plus only has five grams. Everything you need, nothing you don't. H plus, natural rehydration. You should be able to feel how some of those montage cutting options I used, creating timing effects just by cutting, have helped increase the power and energy of this edit.